life. And so now, even when I'm at a podcast festival where people are coming to see all these great podcasts, 30 of them, right? Uh, they still packed in their suitcases crazy name tags to, to bring to Doug Loves Movies. And that's just like, it's, uh, you know, I hope to eventually start a religious cult and get all these people to kill themselves. We start with Jimmy and then we go to Nick. More than happy to. And uh, you get to pick a category. Golden Showers P book? No. That's, that's movies that begin with P? No, it's not going to be that. The letter P, not someone P. I understand it's still not going to be it. I was just... <laughs> At Brains suggested Talk to the Hand, and that's movies that have sign language in them. And... At Koji Werner suggested The Perfect Dorm. Wait a minute. You know my favorite which movie is, is The Perfect Storm. Which is college, college movies. Movies about college. Movies set at college. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I'll go with that. I like that college theme. All right. Just everyone here at the festival, uh, let it be known that I know that we're running long, but we're, I think this is going to wrap up soon. We, we have a tie. We have a three-way tie. If David wins this, this thing never ends. <laughs> Wrong. It no. ends on the next one. David... Good call. <laughs> You're right, Doug. So we throw it. We let David win. <laughs> or let, you know what? Better yet, let me win. We'll close this thing out. <laughs> would you like a... You pick Perfect Dorm? Yeah, I like the dorm thing, yeah. Okay. Uh, would you like a uh, college movie from 94 or 2006? Oh, boy, now that's an interesting two choices. Mm-hmm. Definitely two different numbers. No, I'm going to go 94. 94. Okay. Yes, 94. Usually people don't go with the deeper one, but you did. I see my competition here. <laughs> one of us thought Valley Girl came out in 96. <laughs> one of us likes to take risks. What it's like to be a child. <laughs> two, 20 two, years younger than me. Are two stars. Me, two stars from Leonard. This movie from 1994 that uh, takes place at college. Uh, he says, in this movie, political correctness is out. He also says about this movie that it gets failing grades. Yeah, it's not good. Yeah. Two stars, though. That's pretty generous. Being yeah, because that, being that shitty that. about it and then giving it two stars. And he lists nine names. And one of the names has the word and in it. Has the word what, sir? And. And. A-N-D. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's, that's really what? not a helpful clue at all. Like Shields and Yarnell? Try not to dwell on it. It's, it's not them, but Don't yes. Don't dwell on it, but bring it up. Yeah. Get in our head. <laughs> Gotta be right. Do I, right? I say the first? Yeah, you get to bid. So I pick the category, and then I say... How many names how many you, names you are there? get it in? Nine. Nine. And one of them has an and in it. I'll go eight. I'll go snowman. You went eight? <laughs> yeah. He's going eight, Nick. I'll go six. Uh, I will go negative one name. Jesus. DC. Son of a. Direct contact. Now, what, Leonard, you, what is David going to do with this? David has a chance now to tie this <laughs> mother effer up. Come on, Dave. So name that movie. I was trying to summon something to bring a movie in, and then I just... Like a helicopter? <laughs> Soar me to the heavens and summon a name and bring it back. Name that movie. Go ahead and name it. Uh, I'm going to say, and Leonard might fuck me on this one, but I'm going to say uh, PCU, yeah. and I'm going to list as the lead Jeremy Piven. I think he's right. You're correct in both counts. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Damn it. Damn it. That's good. 